These bumper plates are made with a hard rubber exterior coating over top either iron or steel. What's up and welcome back to Sling and Lead. My name is Alan and this is the best gun channel on the internet. We do serious ballistics testing on my little ranch here in Texas. If you pay close attention and take contemporaneous notes, the information you learn here will likely save the life of you or your loved ones one day. Now let's shoot some weightlifting equipment. All right, you've already seen what we're shooting. We've got a 45 pound cap bumper plate that we're gonna to try to penetrate. I'm not sure if I have anything big enough with enough velocity to get through it, but we're gonna give it a shot with what we've got here on the table. All right, first up is the Western Field 22LR model 830 shooting 22LR Remington. Felt like it felt like that just bounced off. All right, that shot was a little bit high. That's where it hit. Nice clean entry, and I don't feel anything on the back. I didn't expect to feel anything on the back. Let's step it up. Glock 17 Gen 4 with 158 grain full metal jacket. That packed a little bit of a punch and knocked the plate back. Let's see where I hit. There's the entry for the 9mm below the 22 shot. Let's check out the back. No penet... You know what? We might have penetration there. We don't have anything behind this to tell us if it penetrated. I'm going to get some cardboard and we'll, we'll shoot it again. Test it out. Now I've got a piece of cardboard behind the bumper plate. Let's give it another shot with the Glock 17 9mm Gen 4. All right, there's a shot to the left. Let's see if it went through. No, it did not go through. Time for the 357. Now it's time for the 357 Magnum shooting 158 grain jacketed soft point. Let's see if this goes through. I love the punch it packs. Nice shot, exactly where I was aiming into that cardboard. There's the entry. Let's see if it penetrated. It did, it went right through there. 158 grain jacketed soft point, right through that cardboard. And you know what, that's four layers thick. Wow, impressive. Now, more impressive, let's see if I can hit the target. first shot would have been perfect if it wasn't for that wind. There we go. It's in there. I can see lead. I'm sure it didn't go all the way through, but let's check it. No, I don't see any deformation on the back. Time for the 45. Springfield Armory 45 ACP 1911 mil spec with 230 grain full metal jacket. There's our entry hole. Let's see if it went through. Didn't make it through. No deformation there either. Time to step it up. I'm gonna put a one ounce Sabo slug in it with this Remington 870 shotgun. There's the entry hole for the slug, right here. 
big entry hole. There we go. It went right through there. I don't see any metal though. I wonder how big the metal portion of this plate is. I'm going to put a couple rounds from the CMMG AR15 MK4 with 62 grain 556. It looks like all of the rounds penetrated except for the one that went through the metal on the center. Right here. The question is, how much metal is in this plate? I'm going to try a couple more rounds with green tips and see if I can find out how much metal is in that plate. Not too shabby. That's what the back looks like. We've got plenty of rounds passing through. They're not passing through this metal piece right here. But about two inches from the center, they're passing out. It's hard for me to believe that this 45 pound bumper plate only has this much metal in it. I don't have many resources here, but I do have some fire. Maybe, there we go. I do have some fire. I've got some wood and some cardboard and some paper. We're going to burn the rubber off of this and see how much metal is inside of the bumper plate. As you know, here at Sling and Lead, our third priority is always safety. You can see that I've moved most of the fuel away from the burning bumper plate. Now we're going to see how much metal was actually in there. It's okay, I used to be a firefighter back in the day. Ah, the smell of burning rubber. It reminds me of playtime with my wife before she was on the pill. Man, that thing was hot. That should be cooling up now. It took me a while to burn through the rubber on that bumper plate. It was really solid rubber. I looked at a couple videos before starting this video here, and I saw them putting rubber over these large metal plates that would be either iron or steel, and that's what I thought this would be. So here's the rubber that was burned from the bumper plate. You can see how thick it is right there. And this is all the metal that was part of that bumper plate, just this piece right here. And this is probably, it's probably about five, five to 10 pounds. So it's not, it doesn't weigh as much as what I thought it would. Now, we never got full penetration with the green tip 556 five, rounds, but this is what did happen. That's not bad penetration for a pretty solid piece of metal like this right here. I'll get another metal plate for a future video and we'll see if we can get through a regular metal plate. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Come see me on Twitter, Slingin' Lead TX. Have a great week. See ya.